Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you guessed by the title and thumbnail, we're doing a Gymshark haul. How common of me. We spent a thousand pound on Gymshark. When I say we, I mean my girlfriend and I. This is not a thousand pound worth. Between us, we spent a thousand pound. But I'm just gonna show you what I spent my money on. So uh, I figured we'll open up all the plastic bags, save doing that on camera. It's gonna take a lot more time. Started already, but let's get them all out, get them open and dive straight into the hall to show you what I've brought, sizes, etc. and my opinions. Okay, so here is everything. Uh, it's all out on the bed now. Uh, fair selection of bottoms, shorts, t-shirts, tanks. Um, I guess I'll just dive straight in and show you what I've brought. Uh, there's a variation of colour, although you can probably judge what my colours are despite wearing a red shirt. I like greens, I like greys, I like blacks, and I like whites, which is everything I've brought, so that worked out all right. Um, yeah, let's start off with this guy. What have we got here? This is a Geo Lightweight Seamless T-shirt in hunter green, and I got a size small. I try not to mention it too much, but for me, always got a little logo on the back too. For me, size small normally is what I go to on Gymshark just because of the way that they fit and the sizing. Uh, I guess it wouldn't be YouTube if I didn't do a cool little transition. So I guess in three, two, one. Boy, look at that, by the power of the internet, I've changed my t-shirt. So this is, I've forgotten already, the Lightweight Seamless in Hunter Green. And again, a size small. Um, yeah, the camo sort of style on it is real nice. It's very thin, feels good for those hot sweat sessions. Uh, the fit is good too, uh, much better than sort of old Gymshark styles that I've had. It fits real nice. As I say, size small. Uh, I am well, about 73 kg, 74 between there, and about six foot, so. Yeah, it's cool, little logo there, and a logo on the back. Uh, if you pull it all the way, like I always say, Gymshark is quite long, so. For me, I just roll it up like so. But this one is a keeper. Big fan of the colour and the fit is pretty nice too. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. On to the next one. Like I said, this is a keeper. So over there, we're going to do a keeper pile. In the middle will be a maybe. On the left will be a no. So into the keeper. Let's go next with this guy, which is the Bold SS T-shirt in black. Size small again. This is... Not so much like a gym top, this is more like a cotton material. Um, I'm skeptical about it, but we'll definitely try it and see how it fits. Whether it's worth keeping, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure why I ordered it, because it's not much of a gym top. And I'm not the biggest fan of that. I like the little shark, but not the script he's writing. Uh, no. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot do this. This is no. I hate t-shirts like this. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't think I noticed it when I ordered that. This is not good. I don't like that at all. The way it sits, oh, no. Uh, it's a nice material. And yeah, it fits nice. I guess if you rolled it like that, it would be better. But I hate this. Completely hate this, so. Nope, that is 110% no. Into the pile it goes. Time for a little bit of tank top action. This one in particular is a favorite of mine already without trying on. It's the Speed Tank in white in a size small. It's very much like a basketball jersey, if you can see that through the camera. Uh, it's nice and lightweight, plenty of space to breathe in uh, hot conditions if you're out running or training in the gym when it's hot, which is very rare in this country. But it's nice, lightweight, color's good, I guess the fit is very important too. Yeah, oh yes, 110%, this one is real clean. Like I said, it's like a basketball jersey. Uh, the fit's nice. It doesn't drop all the way down like some tank tops, which I kind of prefer it like this. More like a t-shirt without sleeves, which sounds stupid, but not all vests are like that. Uh, yeah, it's nice, light, breathable. Fit is really nice, so small. I keep looking in the mirror. I should look at you guys. Uh, reflective shark, which is nice too, if you're going to be out running in it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's great. One thing to note, as it's like a basketball jersey, be cautious of flashing the nips. Um, is it that obvious? A little bit. 
little bit, yeah, I've got a big light beaming in my face. Yeah. Uh, no, I think just roll with it, embrace it, it's part of life. This is sick, and this is 110% a keeper. Even got the little detail on the back there. I'm not sure what that is about, but it's there, uh, and I dig it. So yes, for me, keeper, no questions about it. Where should we go this time? Um, let's switch it up. Let's go bottoms. Uh, yes, let's go with these. I think they are called the sport short. The graphic sport shorts in light gray. Again, a size small. These are so sick. I haven't seen this before from Gymshark. They either had the little shark there or the logo. But I haven't seen the little fade like this, which is really clean, breathable down the side. And this side too. I thought they were white when I ordered. Um, I'm glad they're not. Nice little gray color. So yeah, I'm gonna try these on. You don't need to see me in my underwear, you creeps. So I'm gonna throw it on anyway. Uh, how about another transition? In uh, three, two, one. Just like that. I've done it again. The power of the internet. Amazing. Um, I picked these up in the sale too. They were 25 pounds and I got them for 20. So if they are still available when this video go live, goes live, I definitely suggest that you pick some of these up. Once again, they had a graphic sport short. Uh, I've just realized too, we've got zip pockets, baby, and that is crucial. If you go running like me, or even if you're in the gym, stuff falling out of your pockets is not key. So yeah, zip pockets, nice little sharp detail on the zip, as he breaks it. Graphic logo down the side, like shorts that fit on the knee, below the knee, or just above. Right here is the sweet spot. I don't know the exact specs. Oh, I just realized you've also got a breathing space here. I'm back again with the shorts on. Uh, Last time, just before we move on to the next item of clothing, but I'm here to tell you, buy these freaking shorts. If they're still in the sale when this video goes up, they're 20 quid, and they're better than the shorts I brought from night. So buy them, I'll leave the link in the description. Anyway, swiftly moving on. Next chosen one is the quarter zip. Oh, damn, this is nice. Uh, speed quarter zip in smoky gray. I brought two quarter zips, but this is the first one I picked to show you guys. Oh. That's nice. I like the details in there. That are like a vault color, I don't know what you'd call that, but it's like a lime green or yellow. I don't know how well the camera picks that up, but nice little details there. As you can see, size small in the gray. Uh, it's a nice material, it's not like the seamless material. It's, uh, I don't know what you'd call that. It's like lycra in a way, but not as weird as lycra. Let's try this out. Let me throw this on over this vest and see how we're looking. Oh, it's tight. Oh, look at that. Perfect for running. It's even got the little thumb holes. Love to see it. As a runner, those thumb holes are key in the winter. If you know, you know. Gosh, we end up spending a lot of money. I was thinking I might send some of this back, but at the moment, I'm liking all of it. Uh, yeah, this is nice. I really like this. Colour's cool. Shark's up there. I think that's reflective too, is it? Yeah. Yeah, reflective as well, there you go. Perfect, so they probably designed this for outdoors running. Hence why you've got the thumb holes, which is key. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty tight fit, but in the right places, like on the arms, and around the chest, just like the vest I just had on, or still have on underneath. You've got that black detailing there. I haven't seen that on Gymshark before, so I'm not entirely sure what they're doing there. It must be just for this range or whatever. I'm gonna put it in the maybe, Reason being is the other one I've brought, I think is gonna be nicer than this. Like it's good, somewhat tight in the right places, but also a bit loose too. Um, and the arms are quite long. I don't really like things that have really long arms. You get all the wrinkling up, but it's nice. We'll see, it's a maybe, first one for the maybe pile. Um, but yeah, there it is. You've got mesh to breathe on the back when you sweat. Definitely a maybe. Let's see what else we have to offer. In the maybe pile it goes. It would be rude not to go into the other quarters if I was talking about, uh, which is the Vital Seamless. Okay, so this one I already know that I like because I'd be a little fibber if I said to you I hadn't already worn this. Um, it came in an order from like a week or two weeks ago. It was in my Six Essentials for Running video, but I thought I'd throw it in anyway because it's part of the new range. This is, like I say, the Vital Seamless, and it's so sick. My Probably my favorite out of all of this lot. But then again, it's not very fair because this is from a different order. But it's great. Details are good. You've got all the seamless little stitching. That was really stupid. It's called seamless because there's no stitching. So you've got all the seamless details. 
Um, stitching here where they do the joint. A uh, little, oh, be a visionary. <laughs> so cool. But yeah, fits nice, colour's good. This is black in a size small. Prefer it to the other one. You can zip it all the way up, which I don't really do because you've got quite a fat neck. So I keep it unzipped, like so. Oh, this is awkward. There you go. Keep it unzipped. Uh, yeah, great fit. This one is 110% the keeper because we're already taking the tags off of it. Let's move on. I think we should probably do some trackies. So, it's a lot of green and beige. Let's pick one of those and show you what I think. Let's get some trackies involved. These are the new Venture trackies, I believe. Yeah, Venture pants in obsidian green in a size small. I got them in the green, which I really like as well as what I thought was beige. I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but it's probably, judging by the light, it's probably a little more beige on camera. But it's more like an off-white green, they call it moss, so yeah, moss grey. Venture pants is get again. So moss grey, with a name like that, you sort of make your own opinion. We will try them on, they're both a size small. I will try the green ones first because they're the ones that I really like and then we'll go to these as well for those of you that are interested in seeing them. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do a corny transition, but I will put them on off camera because I don't want you to see me in my pants. So give me a couple of seconds and I'll be right back. Amazing, yeah, first impressions, really good. Uh, they fit just like uh, how I like them to. So they're not super long and super baggy. Uh, I like my sort of trackies to fit just above the shoe and we get a pair of shoes. I wear a lot of white, black and grey as I said and the green works really well. Um, they fit where I want them to, sort of just above the shoe. I don't like a baggy trackie and I like to show a bit of ankle <laughs> when the sun is out. I don't always wear long white socks. Uh, this, if you can live with it, it's like a waterproof plasticky feel. Got it on the back as well, which to be fair isn't too bad. I'm a fan. They're different, the colour's nice, they're quite thick, um, which is good. Got a nice cuff as well with the all important zip pockets. Small sharp logo, which is really nice and it's reflective. Yeah, I mean, these are great. It's gonna be hard to like these ones just by the colour. Um, so these are probably keepers. I'm gonna put them in the maybe just in case these turn my opinion. But right now, these are great. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do before I try these on. I've got the hoodie to match, so let's throw the hoodie on and be a full tracksuit lad and see how it looks. I probably won't keep the hoodie because I'm not a tracksuit guy. I'll throw it on anyway for entertainment purposes because that's what it's all about, right? Wasting money on clothes for entertainment. Just like the trackies, you've got that sort of waterproof plastic material on the top, which is real nice. Same material all over as you'd expect. It's really thin but thick at the same time, so it's like a nice breathable material, but it fits nice and slim. Uh, this is the size small, I got it in a small and a medium. Although the medium's gonna be too big, but I thought I'd just get it anyway, just to make sure. Oh goodness, what do I look like? Full tracksuits and not the one. I suppose I could keep it, but just not wear it at the same time. Eh, uh, no. It's not doing much for me right now. It's saggy at the back, which is horrible. I hate that in jackets. I, this part's nice, like the plastic details and the shark too. You've also got the plastic on the arm with a neat little pocket, a zip pocket for like keys. You can maybe get something else bigger than a key in there. But overall, full tracksuit, no. Uh, trackies or hoodie, if I had to choose, it'll be the trackies. These are, this, yeah, this doesn't really do it for me. From somebody who's interested in this, that's what the hood looks like. Guess it's waterproof at least, I think, judging by the material. You've got drawstrings too, if you want to be a real bad man. This bit here, if you can see where it sags at the back, that really does not work for me. I'm not even gonna bother trying on the medium. This is, in my opinion, trackies, big yes. Jacket, straight to the no pile. Oh. I've got a high uh, Right, so let's try these then. I think these are the winners, but we'll try these on anyway and see how they look. The colour is very odd. Uh, it's almost like a puke colour, which it's not doing it for me. But we'll try them on anyway, just because that's what you guys came to see. Uh, and I'll give you the breakdown. I didn't get the jacket to match because that would literally be a walking puke. Beige, pukey ones are on. Um, yeah, the fit is exactly the same, which is a really nice fit. But the colour, in my opinion, just lets these ones down. It's the green for me. I get like 
workman trouser vibes from these or like chinos which I guess if you like that then they work for you but it's a no from me even with the shoes she's not doing much uh, if you're wondering why the two pairs these are a medium medium was just to see if they were going to fit if the small weren't but the small fits good but the green are 100% being kept the pukey beige color is a no but overall the tracky itself is great I mean even that bit there is like waterproof on the top of the pocket so if it starts raining, at least your phone and stuff will be protected. And it's on the back there again. I guess that's if you're running or walking and the water splashes up, it's just splashing onto the little water shield. Overall, great pair of trackies. Color, no. Okay, so that leads me to the last couple of items, which is a pair of trackies and two tops. So let me throw the trackies on and give you a breakdown of what they are and why I have brought them. I can't even remember what these are. I'm gonna have to look these ones up. <laughs> are the critical zip joggers they're very slim fit which is great they give a very slim fit around the ankle that is down to this man right here this little elastic cuff that you get on the back and not on the front which is nice actually because it makes it look like they're a really tight fit without seeing that cuff on the front and back so that's great embroidered logo as opposed to one of the stick-on plastic ones that you get on all of the products that are brought Draw strings too which is quintessential obviously and a nice little zip pocket on both sides, also quintessential. The fit is good, uh, the material is very soft. They sort of sag up here around the quads, but maybe that's just me, I need to hit leg day more. And here is really tight, which is good for those with small calves. Shout out to all the guys with small calves. Um, but yeah, soft material, not too thin, not too thick. They're very nice, very comfortable. And for me, these are definitely gonna be a keeper. Up next, we're gonna go for another tank. Time to change this one. I'm starting to sweat a bit and this is brand new. So let's throw this guy on. This is beautiful. I love the color of this. This is a critical drop armhole t-shirt in olive green. I mean, it's a tank, it's not a t-shirt, but yeah, it's a tank and it's in olive green. It's a size small. Uh, earlier on when I was talking about the way that this one fits like this around the shoulder and this one is more like this. So I like it too. Um, this is good for summer as is this, but you've got a really nice breeze here. So let's throw it on and see what the opinions are. All right, there we have it. So first impressions, it's a very sort of typical tank that fits like this, um, which is not a bad thing. It's a small, but again, Gymshark being Gymshark, it fits very long, which is all right. I just overcome it by folding up like so. The color is banging. You've got the small white shark just on the collarbone. Uh, I can't really tell what the back is like, but oh no, it's quite nice. Yeah, deep cut. One thing I'd say to be cautious about is the way your nipples can come out, which I'm not the biggest fan of. So yeah, that's definitely a little bit of a problem, but you can overcome it because the edges sort of roll over. And I guess if you iron it from the inside, you can probably get it to get a little bit wider than it already is. Uh, other than that, it's really nice. Nice fitting around the neck. The color is good. Soft material, it's not like a basketball jersey like this one, which I like. But then again, this is a different style, but it's also very nice. And I think it makes me look good as well. That's a bit vain. I like it. This is a key. So we are now on to the last one, which is the Geo Lightweight Seamless T-shirt in white. And it's a size small. This is basically the long sleeve version of the green Geo seamless t-shirt that I tried on. Um, this is nice. It's got that same sort of camo army print. If you can pick that up on the camera, which is real cool. I like that a lot. I like a long sleeve too. So hopefully it fits good and it's a keeper. Uh oh, I've had a bit of drama. Right, I think I'm in trouble. This fits really nice, just like I thought it would. Ah, damn. I feel like I should maybe try and pick between the green one and this, which is a tough choice, I know, but... Oh, maybe I just keep both of them. What I'm trying to say is this fits really nice. The Geo Seamless, I don't know if it's a new range or not, but it's sick, that's what I can tell you. So if you've seen this and you thought about buying it, Definitely do so. This is a size small, 
fits me real nice on the arms and the shoulder. And it's got a good fitting size arm. It's not long, it's not baggy. On the back too, real nice. And I like the color. This is the final piece. Um, I guess we should go through now and filter what I've picked to keep, what I've given back, and what's a maybe. So let's start with the maybe. The quarter zip, which I went through briefly. Uh, my opinion is... You know what, I'm gonna trust my instinct on this one. Let's go in there and know. Just threw this one on, this is the olive green tank. I like this. It's a nice piece, not too expensive. This is definitely a keep pretty much the best I've been wearing the whole time. So you decide, I'm, I'm obviously keeping this one. Love this. We just need some hotter weather for it to be good to wear outside. The trackies in the green, I can't remember the exact color. Obsidian green, obsidian green, there you go. These are a keeper, like very much. Also have the graphic sport short, 100% keeper. You know I raved about these in this video, but it's worth it. Love these, keep it for sure. And the quarter zip seamless, which I've already taken a tag off. So I don't have a choice. I love it anyway. And this is the last one, which I guess is the rival of what I'm wearing. Oh, this is tough. I don't have many long sleeve t-shirts that fit me nice. And I do have a lot of short sleeve t-shirts. Damn, I'm gonna have to check what I paid for these, but I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna keep both. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the haul. If I can help you at all, drop a comment down below with sizing, pricing, links, etc., or just my opinion, although I've already given it throughout the whole video. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you next time. Hopefully next week. I'm trying to do a video every week. So yeah, if you see me next week, sick. If not, I'm sorry. Over and out, like, comment and subscribe. See you soon.